Hi, my name's Andy. I'm one of the wine specialists working here in the Waitrose in John Lewis, Oxford Street. I've chosen a wine to taste with you today because of a conversation I had shortly after we opened the branch this morning with a customer who wanted to know what was the oldest wine that we stocked. And we went back through the vintages of the wines on the shelves, but it got me thinking because we have a couple of unusual wines in store, and one of them is this wine here from Armenia. Now, this wine is uh, from a company called Zora. It's called Karasi, and I'll come back to the, the name in a minute. And it's from a great variety called Areni Noir. Now, Areni is both the name of the grape and the village where it's uh, first grown. And it was first grown there over 6,000 years ago. The village of Areni is home to, uh, as far as we know at the moment, the oldest winery in the world, um, Neolithic winery, um, stone troughs and uh, hollowed out vessels in the ground in which uh, the grapes were uh, fermented and stored. And we know this because there's residue of the winemaking process in this cave, in these troughs and the grapes that they were treading uh, and turning into wine were Arani, were this, this grape variety here. Now, um, Zora is a company um, founded by a, a gentleman called Zorik Garibian, who's based in Italy, and he got a, a winemaker, uh, Alberto Antonini, to work with him in selecting vines and uh, planting a vineyard from scratch uh, in the village uh, of Areni. They took the vines uh, from cuttings taken uh, from a monastery, a 13th century monastery that's uh, long been abandoned up the hill from the, mon uh, from the village. And uh, it's, it's an interesting area. It's high up in the Armenian mountains, 1400 meters above sea level. It has this huge diurnal difference, that means the difference in temperature between the hottest noonday reading and, and, and the temperature at midnight. 20 degrees Celsius difference between the middle of the day and the middle of the night, um, which really uh, stresses the vine uh, and helps to produce uh, really characterful fruit. Um, the soil is, it's, a, it's appalling for agriculture, sandy limestone, very rocky soil, very poor soil, but again, ideal for viticulture, for growing vines. Uh, and these vines are grown on their own roots. There's no phylloxera in, um, in Areni. So these vines are just cuttings planted on their own roots in, in the soil. Uh, the wine is, uh, I'll pour some out, I'm getting thirsty just talking about it. Uh, the wine is uh, made in uh, concrete vats. Oops, let's spot that lovely label. Um, wine is made in concrete vats and then it's aged partly in French and Armenian oak, uh, but also in uh, about two thirds of it is aged in Karas, and this is where it gets the name Karasi from. The Karas are um, uh, terracotta, earthenware. Um, amphora that were used traditionally, very similar to the quevery that they use in Georgia. These earthenware vessels are used to make and to, to age the wine. So it has this uh, very traditional aging process. And then after about 12 months, the wine is uh, gently filtered, uh, blended and, and bottled. Uh, and then they sit on it uh, in bottle for about six months before releasing it. And the one that I've got here is the um, the 2016. The 2017 has just arrived in store, so we've actually got both vintages on the shelf at the moment. So it's a lovely deep colour. Look at that, um, almost opaque in colour. Um, very little evidence of uh, significant age at the rim, uh, quite pink at the rim. A lovely red and black fruit character on the nose. Uh, I'm thinking mulberries. I lived uh, in a place in Bermondsey for a while that had a lovely old mulberry tree in the back garden and ripe mulberries uh, are a flavor that you, uh, that you don't forget. Um, 
mulberry, blackberry, uh, cherry, um, plum, a little bit of spice from the oak, but it's it's very much in the background. This is all about the natural fruit of the wine. Mm. Really soft mouthfeel. The tannin is there, but it's really evident on the finish and not on the mid palate at all. Bursting with fruit, plums and cherries and mulberries. Um, fresh enough acidity, but very soft, very easy to drink, this wine. Um, there's herbs and spice and a slight earthiness on the finish as well. Lovely complex wine. Um, this wine is made with the natural yeasts and the vineyard uh, and the winery. So um, each uh, each wine, each vintage is is subtly different, not only as a consequence of the uh, the growing conditions of the grapes, but of the uh, the variety of yeasts that are present at the time the wine's made as well. Mm. trying this with one of my colleagues earlier um, her immediate comment was this is how red wine should taste and you know what this is as close as we can tell how red wine has tasted for 6,000 years cheers <laughs>